Um, All right, so this is what's happening. Tom Brady is confronting Sonic Fox, calling him a liar by simply for the fact that Sonic Fox said that that zoning, that Predator zoning and that variation is not broken, it's not messed up, and it's completely fair. And Tom Brady's sitting there, giggling, jumping up and down on the sidelines, watching him lose to it. Saying, I didn't say I told you so, <laughs> but I told you so. But I told you so. Ooh, oh, we got DJT and oh. Honey B. Wow, what a marquee matchup. This is a matchup that we did not see at Evo. We did not see at Evo, and these guys place third and fourth or fifth? Yes, I believe so. Third. Uh, Honey B was third, and I believe uh, DJ... Uh, DJT, DJT was, was fifth. Fifth? I believe so. Who got fourth? Um, MIT. MIT got fourth. Okay, okay. Um, now, I can't remember the last time these two played. No. Have they ever? Oh, maybe at um at next level when, when everyone came. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. When Yomi came. Not. No, Honeybee wasn't there. No. No, Honeybee played awful at ECT. Honeybee, yeah, Honeybee lost so to Tyra after shot and then Trevor King. Tremor going up against Honeybee's Devora. Arguably the best Devora player right now, currently. Ar no, there's no argument. It's, yeah, it's him. It's undisputed. Undisputed best Devora player right now. Uh, I mean, there's someone who knows his character. Right, he does downplay a little bit, but. He knows his character. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he knows Absolutely. how bad he's downplaying. But you cannot deny the fact that he's the best of war in the business. Does he have the matchup experience against Tremor, especially with the aftershock no. variation? We're going to find My out. My bands. Here we right. go. Ooh, it starts it off with a down four. And that, that string is plus one. The, the three hit string from Tremor that advances him forward. Oh, DJT trying to use his armor there and using the puddle. Yeah. All right, now what DJT is doing there is he's trying to condition Honeybee to not press buttons after that string. He, and once he does it, then he can go ham with mix ups, overheads, blows, throws, and Honeybee with his only armor move that he says is completely useless gets him out of the corner. When in doubt, armor out. There you go. And DJT pushing Honeybee back into the other side of the screen, taking round one, looking nice. Yeah, no, this, this Tremor is a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. Oh, and look at the reaction, stopping Honeybee in his tracks. Overhead. Yeah, no, yeah, that, that overhead that tracks, yes. Again, only armor move gets him out of the corner, puts him very close to the mid to mid screen. He might have to rely on that move more than once. <laughs> Again, the armor move works. I don't know why Honeybee says it's useless. The Down for it pressure. to cancels. I love it. I love it. DJT armoring out. Oh, and it barely catches him if she just had a slightly floatier jump. Force the breaker. Absolutely no choice there. Honeybee needs to get something going right now. He cannot sit and wait and get chipped there out. Is. The Hail Mary! Full the, of grace. The Hail Mary from downtown throws the wasp and it connects. It connects. It could have been ducked. It, he could have avoided it. He could have blocked and he didn't. All right. That's guaranteed. Guaranteed adds 13% to any hard knockdown. All right, and I like the kick. I, lo I that's like probably, the interactable. I mean, it's so hard to punish someone for doing it, and, you know, it's, it's a very good get-off-me move. Absolutely. He needs to establish the middle, the mid-screen game. Um, does not want to be in the corner against DJT. Oh, and the but. Brutal Bro! Like a stone. <laughs> Like that, like that song, like that song. I was gonna, I was gonna go with the the rock references, be a little cheesy, but I got here it. we are. They're going right back into it. Good use of the overhead, mixing it up, 
Yeah, you don't always want to go for low. You want, he's got he's got a great string that ends in low or overhead. Oh, and There's a little. The puddle. There was a little Avoids bit of an execution it. error. I don't think he wanted to do that. There's the overhead, keeping Honeybee stationary in the corner. And, and well, look what I told you. Honeybee did not want to press a button because he knows he's at a disadvantage. Absolutely. DJT conditioned him last round or last match. Round one right after. Ooh, the throw. Excellent tech. Down two to get DJT off. And DJT ready to go right there back in. Waste two bars just like that. And Honeybee wants to buy some real estate. He wants to get away from the corner. He wants some wiggle room. Oh, the Wasp connects! The EX Wasp! This now this is not quite it. There's the cancels. Chipping oh. them out. Oh, and I mean, you might as well... All those all that block string, everything that... You, every time your opponent blocks your strings, you build so much meter. You might as well just use it to finish it out. Guarantee it. Honeybee looking You're really good this right. match. And here we go. Honeybee picking up where he left off in round two. Oh, Connects the, with the overhead. The overhead hits, but it didn't lead into a combo. It could have easily, but it didn't. Honeybee puts himself in the corner. Is he going to regret it? And there it is. The use of the... <laughs> the useful armor move. Absolutely. The one she deserves. Honeybee closing it out. I mean, an armor move is better than no armor move. Yeah, it's a little slow. But it's it's so good. It, it, it seems to be working for him in, in this particular <laughs> matchup. Now let's see if DJT switches characters. He's gonna stick with Tremor, but go with Crystalline. Okay, I well like this he, move. He, he's sticking with Tremor. Uh, as Slayer has said before, uh, Tremor players seem to be uh, a little hard-headed. <laughs> the launcher from the the low rocks is is definitely gonna play a key factor into this. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have armor on it. It's going to lead into so much damage. Oh, the down three to keep him at bay. Stop there that run, and there, there it, is. it is. As you said it. Just call overhead. me the weatherman. Oh, and the throw broke. Uh, it, it broke the... I think that was a good, a good way to kind of break that. The armor. To, that was smart. Because you do recover pretty fast when you when you hit when you whiff throws. There's that overhead. Honeybee pushing himself out. Turning him back into the corner, setting him up with yet another puddle. Did and I don't know how that wasn't a punish. Wow. That's plus. That's plus, right? After the Absolutely. yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, the, the the low launcher you see there, Honeybee made the right decision. He did not press a button. He blocked low and he still couldn't do anything. He had to just respect it. DJT setting up shop. I, I love the sounds that the, the, the that the crystalline fists make. Yeah. It just sounds so awesome. It's like popping and shattering. Oh, DJT looking so good right now. Honeybee needs to make this miraculous comeback. That's it. That and is it, it. He was going to get chipped out no matter what. The the switch to Crystalline definitely in DJT's favor in this particular matchup. I, I mean, I'm surprised why he didn't go with it in the first place. Um, maybe he learned something. Maybe he saw something in Aftershock that he could apply into Crystalline moving into the into the uh, second set there. Well, yeah. I mean, he, he could have tried Aftershock, saw something that he couldn't deal with, and said, hey, if I was in Crystalline, I it's could plus. use this. Yeah. Yeah.